The FBI is trying to identify the carjacking suspect who allegedly went on a crime spree that ended on the turnpike in West Broward County on Thursday. The gunman ultimately took his own life on the turnpike after shooting at two law enforcement officers. Now both are still recovering this afternoon from their injuries and News Channel 5's Marissa Bag is live at Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood with the latest on this still developing story. Marissa. Keely and Lauren, just within the last 30 minutes, we did get an update on one of the conditions of the federal officers that was shot yesterday. We'll get to that in just a second. First, I want to share with you some pictures that the FBI just released of the man who's believed to be the gunman. This is inside a barber shop in Pembroke Pines right around 2 o'clock on Thursday, which is just a couple hours before those violent events unfolded on the turnpike. Now, in these pictures, you see a man in a blue shorts and a black shirt with the gun pointed. In another picture, he's also by the cash register, also with the gun pointed. Now, the owner of that barber shop tells police that the gunman came in demanding money. The owner was able to get away and alert police who were at who were at a nearby gas station and were told a security guard who just so happened to be inside that barber shop getting his hair cut actually opened fire at the gunman as he fled. It's unknown at this hour if the gunman was hurt in that uh, shooting. Now, the barber shop owner explained to us what happened. He came in and there was the money. The money is in the cash register. You know, so I said the money is right there and he grabbed the money. And from there, authorities believe that the gunman stole a car, then crashed it on the turnpike and shot at two officers before killing himself. Back here at the hospital, Key Biscayne officer Nelia Rial is in critical but stable condition, we're told. She was the one who was shot in the neck. Now, we also were just released the name of the ICE officer who was shot in the arm. His name is Gabriel Martinez. He is also in stable condition, so some good news there. And we also understand that he is a 10-year veteran uh, with the Immigration and Customs uh, um, agency now also a Broward County Sheriff's de deputy who broke a leg uh, responding to that accident we're told that, that that deputy should be all right as well but again that ICE agent as well as the Key Biscayne police officer both here at the hospital and we will be here all day long gathering the latest information and bring it to you as soon as we have it for now reporting live in Hollywood I'm Marissa Bagg WPTV News Channel 5.